Hi, welcome to SBR Videos. I'm Peter Loshak, and this is going to be uh, my first official individual game coverage of a football game for the 2015-2016 season. It's uh, it's only uh, July 27th, but you know these college football week one lines are already out, and we are going to take a look right now at Michigan, Utah, with. Troy West from AllPlaysWin.com, guy who's given us profitable advice for many, many years, uh, year in and year out, college football, uh, NFL, and of course, recently, most recently uh, in the NBA playoffs, we had a ridiculous record, I think it was 24 and 10, something like that. Troy West from AllPlaysWin.com, thanks so much for being back with us. Hey, thanks a lot, Pete, I appreciate it. I get to cover the first game of the year with the best of the best, yep. AllPlaysWin.com. We specialize in the Pac-12. We've had an outstanding record, not only in college football, but particularly in the Pac-12. I can't believe we're already covering college football, Pete, but let's do it, baby, and let's uh, let's start off this year with the bang. Let's do it. Michigan at Utah, I think I'm already seeing some value here. Of course, uh, some place, not every place has uh, these uh, lines out yet, but uh, I saw at Heritage has uh, has Utah minus five and a half. Five Dimes has Utah minus five and a half, the total 46. And, of course, a lot of places in Vegas have this line out already. And... Um, I don't know, you know, for the first game in the Jim Harbaugh era going into Utah, I think that maybe in the middle of the season or towards the end of the season, Michigan might get a little bit worn down or overvalued. But here in game one, I think they're going to be pumped. I think Harbaugh is going to know how to uh, get them ready for this game, if not to pull out a win, to, to at least cover a big spread like five and a half points. Both these teams have strong defenses. I'm liking Michigan plus five and a half and the under 46. What do you think, Troy West? Wow, we get to disagree the first game really? of the year. We're disagreeing. I'm going. I'm going with the Utah Utes wow. here, Pete. Absolutely. Okay. Going, going with Utah. I think Utah's very, very much being underlooked in this Week One matchup. You got to remember, this is a team that went into the Big House last year and took care of business, sure. 26 to 10. They returned the bulk of their roster. They've got a great quarterback coming back, Travis Wilson, who's not only good with his arm, but he's outstanding with his feet. And they return arguably one of the best running backs in the country, Devontae Booker, went for 1,500 yards plus last year really under the radar. This is a veteran offensive line. This is one of the tougher places to play sure. in college football, Pete, the Beehive State. This is a tall task for Jim Harbaugh in his first game. I'm not sure, saying sure, he's sure. not. It's not really a slam on Utah. I'm high. I mean, oh, the Pac-12 is awesome this year, and Utah is certainly a team that might be a little bit undervalued, a little bit under the radar. Uh, and, and again, I do expect Michigan to get overvalued at times during the year, but here in week one, game one with Jim Harbaugh, you know, I mean, it's going to be a close game. It, I mean, it's going to be a low-scoring game. Excuse me. The total is going to be low. I like the under anyway. And, uh, you know, if anyone knows how to make this Michigan offense work with, you know, those tight ends, Harbaugh's got a guy named Jake Butt, six foot six inch tight end named Jake Butt. He's going to know how to uh, take advantage of Utah's aggressive defense. I just think here, week one, getting five and a half points, it's going to be a close game. The D Michigan has a great defense this year. We know that. And they're going to be as pumped as they can possibly be. Right, Troy? C couldn't disagree anymore, Pete. I, I think when you look at the talent level of Michigan, this is not a, a – Jim Harbaugh's taking over a rebuilding team, Pete. This sure. isn't a team that he's taken over that had a lot of success. This is a team that got beat up all season last year. And now they got to go on the road, a tall task, Pac-12 opponent, one of the tougher places to play in the country that's going to ground and pound and knock you in the mouth. This is not a bad Utah team. This is a Utah team that took care of USC at home last year. Several marquee games at home that they took care of business. Sure, they sure, sure. Oregon but this is home. week one, Troy. You know what I mean? It's not It's not like a, like they have to go to Utah suddenly in the middle of the year after having played a bunch of tough I, games and a bunch of tough games coming up on their schedule. This is week one. They're going to be fresh. They're going to be able to plan for as long as they need to. The defense, and you can't quarrel with the defense of Michigan, right? But week one, I think when you get a rookie team like week one, a new head coach, I think it takes time to progress through the year. I think you're actually going to see Michigan have better value as they progress through the mm -hmm. year, as they get more in-game experience. Because this is a team, this is their playing their very first game for the new head coach. A lot of pressure going on the road. I think I'm going devil's advocate here. I think when you get a young team like Michigan that's in rebuilding mode, it gets easier as the season progresses. Week one, tall task on the road in a Pac-12 game. It's not going to be easy for Michigan. Wow. All right. Well, we will go head-to-head. -head. You like Utah minus 5.5. And I like Michigan plus 5.5. And, and I'm also uh, liking the under at 46. As you said, last year uh, was a low-scoring game, 26-10. to 10. Uh, It might cut it a little close. That's a very low total. But um, I'm suspecting, I'm guessing that that total might even close a little bit lower by kickoff. And uh, I think at 46, I like the under a little bit. What do you think about that, Troy? 36 to 10, Utah. Blowout. Don't like the game. I love the game. 36 wow. to Utah. Here we go. Starting off 2015 slash 2016 with a bang. Me and Troy West 
going head to head, mano a mano, disagreeing in game one of week one that we're covering Michigan at Utah. I like Michigan plus five and a half. Troy West likes Utah minus five and a half. Troy West, we shall see who is proven right. Thanks so much.